and hello welcome to this video now in this video I just want to pick up where I left off um, so where I left off was uh, just um, how to uh, get the module names in such a format that you can just put it into the task okay, where I'm opening too many tabs yeah so you see that the, the task uh, if you want to read a value you need to be able to give the give uh, Python API uh, the ni deck mx python api a name in this case here is dev1 ai0 uh, as for the case here it is module a ai0 or module a ai1 so on and so forth so <coughs> before i continue uh, you might be wondering what is this ai what does this ai stand for so uh, when i look on google um, AI actually stands is a common uh, thing uh, word f short form for analog input. How do I know it's analog input? Well, if you want to be extra sure, uh, uh, you can go to the NI deck MX task. You can create a new task. Go to acquire signals. Look at analog input, and you see it's AI here. <coughs> and then maybe I can just uh, do some thermocouple thing, and you see the thing, the the short form is AI 0 to 7. If I do an analog output or something like here, then I, I, I give it a current output. You see that module D, okay, module D, uh, not module A or B or C, okay, module D has an analog output A, AO 0 to 4. So this is, I guess, an output NI2. 9269 is an output kind of thing. So this deck has both inputs and outputs, uh, interestingly enough. So um, that's what it's there for. So you have uh, module A and B here for temperature, and uh, AI is for analog input. Okay, uh, AO is for analog. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, AO is for analog output. Pardon, I still have a cough right here. So analog output is uh, uh, yeah AO, analog input is AI. So at least uh, that thing is out of the way. Okay. AI and AO. So hopefully that demystifies everything. Okay. However, there's of course a lot more things to, to be done. Uh, such as uh, what, what are all these physical channels and everything about? Okay, so let's continue where I left off. Where, <coughs> excuse me. Where I left off is somewhere around here. I have of course updated the code since the last video to make uh, to have something that works. So the the function is called print device name. <coughs> okay, print device name, and uh, what. What I try to do instead of uh, just uh, printing the AI physical channel zero, I do a for loop so that it prints all the AI physical channels. Okay, so let me uh, let me just uh, comment this out one at a time so that uh, you can see how the code works. I'm gonna save and quit. So I'm gonna <coughs> excuse me get the test object and now I'll print the device name okay so what what the what does it do now and when I run this print device name code all of these things here are ignored I just print the device and the device here is the module 1a okay device physical channel is this uh, is this object and I that MX system collections physical channel collections analog input or AI physical channel collection object at uh, some memory space Okay, so uh, let's just say I I want to print out the name of each of these physical channels. So if I if I if I print them out individually, I have to write it out like that. So print device dot ai physical channels. Okay. Dot uh name okay maybe I have to put number zero dot name in order to print that out 
So uh, let's just say I, I do this again. I'll just print one instead of printing all of them because this is what we did the last video. Okay, so this uh, we know this AI physical channel is like a list of some sort, an index list. Okay, so let me get a test object and let me run the print device name again. Okay, device object has no attribute AI physical. Oh, I, I misspelled physical. Okay, let's. <coughs> okay, physical. Okay, let's try again. Get the test object and print the device name. Okay, everything is okay except for uh, uh, module D and module D onwards. Okay, why does module D not have a, a physical channel for input? Okay, because this thing actually, as you saw just now, it's meant to be a, it's meant to be an analog output device. It doesn't measure things. It it puts out a, a analog voltage or current signal. Yeah, so it puts out this analog, um, uh, signal. Okay, so that's why we we cannot do a analog input. It has to be an analog output. Okay, so, uh, so to to solve this problem. Okay. Pardon the dog. Uh, to solve this problem, we will then need to just uh, cycle through all the AI physical channels and try to print their name. Okay. Of course, for not for uh for let's say module D here, there are no AI physical channels here. Okay. The the list is kind of empty, so there won't be any anything there. Okay. So my code here is essentially for physical channel in AI physical channel so what's this physical channel here these are the the items that are sort of in this list called AI physical channels I guess so a list or index okay so uh, so for whatever so uh, this will be like this will like cycle from index 0 all the way up to the end so physic the physical channel will be whatever I'm highlighting here so every time you see physical channel is actually uh, this for device AI physical channels uh, 0 to n for example okay then I want to print the name attribute so uh, that's what it's going to do it's going to print all, all the name attributes and for those devices without uh, input analog input physical channels uh, it's not going to print out anything <coughs> for example module D this is an output a physical channel uh, so it doesn't have anything okay and uh, the DAC the data acquisition uh, the, uh, system it doesn't have any uh, input channels as well so they will not show up on anything as well <coughs> so okay so uh, I believe that there are also uh, analog output channels which uh, we can try yeah. So, uh, we can do the analog as well. Device not AO physical channels uh, for physical channel in device not AO physical chains print physical channel dot name. Okay, so this should this should uh, print out the analog output if anything exists. So, uh, oopsie, itself get test object and print device name. Oh, test object print device name. Okay, <coughs> so if you can see here. Uh, you take a look here. Uh, I've printed out all the analog inputs. Okay, A A AI zero to AI seven, AI zero to AI fifteen, AI zero to AI seven, and then here are all the analog outputs. So A O physical channels. Okay. So um, at the end of the day, I don't really want this. Uh, or maybe I'll just put some comments here. Uh, just to prevent confusion. Okay, here 
we are printing analog inputs AI physical channels okay all right Ooh. that one I will just leave it there so um, these two we don't really need okay it's just to see what objects there are there so I'm just gonna comment it out okay Okay, so I say uncomment the code below to see what kind of object <coughs> AI physical chance is. Okay, so this is the two codes you should uncomment. Uh, so I will also do the same thing here. I yank it and I'll paste it here. Okay, uncomment the code below to see what kind of object uh, AO physical channel is. AO <coughs> physical chance is. Okay, so this is the analog output part. Uh, do I have anything here? Yeah, they don't seem to they don't seem to do an analog output. I just kind of guess that you know if there's an input, there should be an output as well. So, <coughs> so uh, thankfully they, they designed their code that it's somewhat, you, you can still figure it out, right? Okay, so uh, let me, let's try doing it again. Okay, and then print the device name and see everything is nicely put out. Okay, so all the analog input and the analog outputs are all, uh, 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 given okay for every module so module a b and c are analog inputs module d is an analog output okay and then of course after that test is complete now uh, we know that uh, we need to give uh, all of this as a text input or string input so we want to find the type of uh, data you know the type of data this physical channel dot name is so for that I, I like to put in this uh, print type physical channel dot name and then I can also put this here print type physical channel dot name so print the type of what is this okay what is this uh, physical channel dot name what is this data type so if it's a string then we are in uh, good shape so let's uh, get the test object and we will run the the thing and you see all these are string type variables or in the class of string so if this is a string type variable it means we can just uh, put this physical channel straight into here straight here and um, or straight here even okay at the voltage channel or whatever we can uh, use that to uh, uh, put a, a task okay to create a task and then sort of read some signals okay so uh, that's all I have for now I think uh, that's enough for today uh, so we learn how to uh, get the physical channel input and output strings then of course next uh, we can use this to our advantage to try and read a particular physical channel all right so that's all thanks for watching I will of course upload this to github and yeah I will comment out the physical channel name bit okay or maybe not uh, I can just uh, you know put a new test or something make a new function <coughs> okay um, yeah so I will leave it as it is uh, I will probably want to develop new functions to uh, help help uh, help us to uh, do stuff later on okay thanks for watching